How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Uh, today we're going to be doing a video on reporting styles, bit summary components, and extension views within the extension tab. Let's jump right into it. So in your extension tab, you should notice three drop-down boxes. One is a screen style setup. The other one's a modified bid summary components. And the other one is edit extension views. So what this one is, you can edit your current view in this tab right here. And then you can also hit your screen style setup. Um, if you click this button here, you're able to take out in the extension consolidated items you can see that these description here are actually located in each of these columns quantity price date trade price etc etc <clears throat> so what you can do is to save your own custom style and I highly recommend this do it for everybody because you really don't need all of these shown in this view is you want to hit add and then we're just gonna call this new style and you see how everything's gone so columns in the style and columns to choose from so in the extension you're gonna to want to hit extension consolidated items and you get to choose what you do not want to see anymore in this view so we're gonna say we don't want to see any of the sort codes, the labor descriptions, and material codes, and then we'll go to the top and we'll say we don't want to see reference numbers, manufacturer names, uh, total weight, weight units, weights, labor conditions, material conditions, any labor adjustments, maybe any cost, and then we'll leave all that in there. So you just notice your screen just struck down considerably. Uh, this is great. You don't really need to see all the stuff. It, it, this is user preference. If you want to see every single screen, nothing wrong with it. I prefer to see everything without having to scroll to the side. So this is the new screen. This is default. Default. Scroll all the way over to see everything you got in here. And be honest I don't think you need a lot of this you don't need seven different sort codes and, and whatnot I it's it's preferable but don't think you need it all right so if you always want to see that one screen drop down new style automatically does it for you let's go to the second one modify bid summary components now in a, a previous tutorial I showed you how to create uh, phases alternates you can have unlimited amount of alternates, unlimited amount of phases in one Acubit file, but you can have seven different Acubit files or unlimited Acubit files in one Acubit file. So what that means is if I click my alternate here, it's only gonna grab everything that's in this alternate. Now that like in my previous tutorial I said that if you do click this, all these tabs have now change to whatever this is so once you do this you can have custom subs built in this one uh, any kind of general expenses equipments you can have different labor rates in here say you got a, a company that has an excavation crew and you know those are all you know local 150 guys you could put local 150 guys just in here endless possibilities but you have seven or I'm sorry I keep saying seven but endless Acubit files inside of one. Uh, if nobody understands that, shoot me a message, leave a comment, I'll explain it, I'll go into depth how this works and how it benefits a an estimator or a project manager when you have so many different alternates you don't want to get anything bundled up and something gets approved and doesn't get approved and you end up eating money on something. Happens all the time but if you do it this way you should be perfectly fine. 
All right, so we'll leave that one back to default. Uh, edit extension view. So this is similar to the well, it's exactly the same as group. And instead of going into extension and group, you can have a custom view for multiple views that you want. So if I click in here, let's say I want to do a systems group. Okay. Oh, I already have a system view. Sorry. Let's go back. So I have a systems. One drop down box, it's all done for you. Double click in here, look at all the systems. Extension next, see each of the systems. Collapse. You can get out of this, or you can go to base. Numerous ways you can do this. You can, um, let's say we want to create a new view and we'll call it if I had phases. So we'll have it in different phases. You can click your phases, and if you do have your job phased, it'll show up in how you took it off in phase. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything in phases, but maybe you want to do something drawings. Sign of drawings. Okay. And here are my six different drawings. Endless possibilities, but this, like I said before, this is all customizable for you. It's just you don't have to go in extension and hit group or filters or views. You can have this all set up by default and ready to rock and roll. You don't have to go and do this for every single job. You can do this in your default job or maybe create like I do I do a, a job template I just prefer to do it that way and these are all set up for you and you don't have to keep doing this for every single uh, new bid that you do you know thank you guys for watching uh, this is Alfred Flores CEO president new age electric thank you for watching